Hello everyone, this is Mustafa from Structural Engineering Basics and today I want to talk to you about the different types of materials used in buildings. So when you think about it, there are a whole bunch of materials we use in our buildings like glass, stones, uh, plastic. But today I want to focus on four main structural material that we use in the um, uh, structural design and when you use in building the structural skeleton of the uh, buildings we use all the time and um, I work with them a lot in the consulting uh, work uh, we do. These materials are steel, structural steel, uh, reinforced concrete, masonry and wood. So I want to take you through each material, what's the pros and cons, and what would be a good application for each one of them. And I also want to touch on like the manufacturing industry of these um, building materials and how important uh, to do testing and control the quality of these materials so it's uh, reliable and sustainable and the uh, everyone involved in the construction industry can rely on a steady source and supply of building materials so we can keep on growing our cities and build more buildings. So let's start with a quick comparison between these four um, uh, materials that I want to talk about. Uh, steel, this is usually comes in uh, structural shapes like angles or white flange beams or like C channels. Uh, they're usually hot rolled steel sections and uh, it's pretty strong. These uh, sections can be used together, can be welded together, or can be connected using high strength bolts to create the framing of floors and columns and beams uh, and basically uh, stack multi-story buildings uh, using these structural shapes. Uh, the other material I want to talk to you about is reinforced concrete. Reinforced concrete is very versatile. It basically uses um, formworks that you can shape it the way you want fresh concrete to look like after it hardens and cures and then you pour concrete into it and it takes time for fresh concrete to reach um, uh, to harden and to gain strength uh, usually about seven days and after seven days you can remove all the formworks and now you have the shape of the concrete in like a stone like hard material uh, there are some um, um, weak points in uh, when it comes to concrete. It's very good in compression when you load it in compression, uh, but it's brittle and doesn't have a lot of tensile strength. So combining it with internal rebar or steel reinforcing gives it creates this sort of new composite material reinforced concrete with excellent properties in both tension and it can in, in both compression and it can take uh, tension as well. When it comes to masonry, masonry is basically um, a wood um, uh, cement blocks made out of concrete are very popular, very uh, used widely. Uh, a lot of uh, builders and contractors, they like them because they're easy to work with. You can use the units, you can think of it like as building with Lego. Uh, you can put the units and it takes mortar uh, in between each layer and the cores or the voids of the masonry blocks, those can be reinforced. So again, that's the uh, advantage of adding the steel rebar for tensile strength. They can be added after building a wall and cored. So that improves the strength of the wall and this way makes the masonry a very versatile uh, application. Usually it's done with, it's used in walls. You can have with no cores filled, all the voids or all the cores uh, have no reinforcing in it, or you can fill all the cores so that gives you a wide range of capacity or strength you can get out of uh, masonry. Uh, the other material I want to talk to you about is uh, wood. So wood obviously is a natural material, like uh, there are different species of wood. It depends on the type of tree or the species of wood uh, that um, uh, it's manufactured from. Uh, obviously it needs to go through um, a process of curing or treatment uh, to make the wood dry and suitable for structural application. And uh, there are actually very good advantages to working with wood. It's light. 
it's easy to work with. Um, it's ideal for short buildings, like it doesn't work very well for like uh, when you start stacking up multi-story buildings, there is a limit to how much you can build something like that from wood. But at the same time, wood has a very reasonable compressive strength and tensile strength as well. So this makes it a good application for roof trusses. That what makes that what gets like home roofs like this uh, shape of the trusses. Uh, these are made from wood. They're very light. Uh, they can be installed relatively easy. And uh, the one thing that um, uh, needs to be taken care of or paid attention to when working with wood is the strength of the material is different when you load wood parallel to the grain of wood or perpendicular uh, to the grain of wood. It's usually stronger when you load it parallel to grain and it just need to be very careful in the detailing and the orientation of these um, material in, in wood material uh, when you uh, use it in the structure. Uh, the manufacturing of all these materials uh, is pretty well established industry and uh, it's regulated and standardized. Uh, there are a whole bunch of standard testing procedure for each type of material that needs to be done on a regular basis uh, at the manufacturer level. So then the manufacturer needs to test it and also uh, at the construction site, especially for concrete because Concrete sometimes is poured and manufactured at the site. So uh, there are samples and testing that needs to be done on a regular basis. And this basically is the foundation of the construction industry uh, that makes it reliable and sustainable for us to keep on building and to keep on growing our cities. Um, that's pretty much it, what I wanted to share about materials. And before I let you go, I mentioned before uh, our ultimate guide for structure in engineering uh, basics. Uh, I want you to check it out. It has a lot of very interesting information. Uh, I'm going to leave the link below to download it for free. And um, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time. See ya.